The following decade, two recessions, both of them severe, one of the most severe in our lifetimes. The fact that we made it through that as well as we did is to the credit of everybody who worked on those budgets in that time period and to those who helped with the enactment of what became Measure 66 and 67. By the way, part of the reason we see that higher growth curve in revenue since the recession is because voters approved Measure 66 and 67. But I was looking forward to, and ever since I worked with Governor Kongoski on the reset report in 2010, I was looking forward to a decade in which we could have growth, and with that growth get revenue dividends to invest in expanding investments for our kids and our schools and all the other priorities we know we have. And I'm not hearing anybody arguing against those priorities. So it's a matter of doing better with the growth we're getting from the economy. That means controlling costs. So that, in fact, we do have revenue dividends to invest in doing more and more. But that probably that means taking a hard look as well at the amount of tax burden that is borne by working families and the fact that we now have one of the lowest uh, business tax shares of any state in the country in multiple studies. And that includes everything paid by businesses, including the small mom and pop operations who pay the personal income tax. We're either 49th or 47th uh, in business tax share. And I think it's... That's why we're going to continue to run into resistance from taxpayers who don't recognize how the burden is distributed. And we're not able to show that as our economy grows, we generate revenue dividends with which we can do more and better for our people.